And you're welcome. It's time for our final segment here today. And today for motivation, we have with us Mr. Bright UK. Now, he's a transformational coach and also an author. And today we're talking about failing successfully. I love the sound, the sound of that. It's like a paradox. Yeah. So you fail, but you succeed. In fact, I was listening to something. I think it was Denzel Washington only yesterday who said the people who succeed are the people who have been successful at failing. Mm -hmm. So you learn from your failures. Mm -hmm. But I'm just the, I'm the consumer. You <laughs> are the motivational speaker here. So tell us about it. Failing successfully. What's that about? Um, well, um, first and foremost, uh, it's about uh, how people see failure right and um, if we can see it in a better light maybe we can change uh, the narrative and then also change what we make out of it mm -hmm. in the real sense a lot of people have had to fail into miracles so in other words they got to see their mistakes as miracles and uh, of course miracles came out of the mistakes as it were you know so it depends on how people see it when they see it in negative light they respond to it negatively mm -hmm. when you see it in a positive light you also respond to it positively and you can make something bigger and better out of it so that's really what it is so um there has to be a change in the way we think a change in the way we see oftentimes you know people tend to feel the event of failure they mm -hmm. feel failure instead of thinking rationally through it Right, so there has to just be a difference, a, I mean a shift mm. in the way people think about it. So to what aspect of our lives now do we apply this professional, family, social, what exactly? How does it work when we fail to succeed? Uh, well, failure cuts across every area, especially where you can, you know, have goals or particularly have expectations of yourself, right? So if you have an expectation, you have a goal in a particular area, whether it's your family, whether it's your career, whether it's your business, any area, then is uh, the possibility of failure. As long as there is a possibility of success, mm -hmm. <laughs> there is also the possibility of failure. So failure has a way of actually making people, discouraging people. It's a very, yeah. very, it's like a big whoop to you. And you're like, oh, that's it, I'm not going to try this. How do I take this, turn it around and view failure differently if I'm going to succeed in the end? All right. Um, first and foremost, um, they need to make a mind shift. Right, and um, let me just identify a few of those shifts. Please. Normally, people see failure as an anomaly. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's, it's abnormal, it's, it's not supposed to happen. And that's why people don't even prepare for failure in the first place. But if we are proactive about failure, we are proactive about our mistakes and to say, okay, as much as I prepare for success, I also prepare for the possibility, the prospects of you know because to aim for success also to risk failure mm. <laughs> you know but if you keep on thinking about the risk you will not even be able to uh, take the actions that will bring about success mm. so instead of seeing it as an anomaly see it as part of you know part of life so that why go when, in expecting yes, to fail is that what yeah, you say so you, you should expect that things can go wrong of mm. course you guys have heard that whatever can go wrong murphy's will, law yeah i mean the murphy's law whatever can go wrong will go wrong right but the point is expect that something could happen and then you prepare for that. Mm. In the event that something happens, you know, apart from what will be my ideal target, what do I do, mm -hmm. right? By the time we don't create that gap, you know, don't accommodate it mentally, mm. that becomes a problem because once we feel, we think that's the end, whereas it ought to be a bend. Mm. And that's another way to look at it, right? Because people think failure is the end of the journey, but it's not really the end of the journey, it's not the end of the game. It's just a bend, it comes to redirect you, mm -hmm. not necessarily to stop you. Right, and so people need to see it from that angle that okay, this is not coming to stop me, it's coming to redirect me. It also, does not mean that it's coming to invalidate your pursuits. Mm -hmm. It's not saying you ought not to do this, no, it's only saying maybe you need to develop, you know, more capacity. You know, it's pointing you to some, you know, levels of self awareness to show you what is lacking that you are not seeing, right? And then the moment you close that gap, you will come back with a resounding success. Yeah. That's basically what it is. So it's building that mental apparatus now. That yeah. Comes. How yeah. do I build it? What do I say to myself? Is it really, uh, uh, words of affirmation or is it something physical? Noting that I'm going into this project and anything that could happen. And I'm not going to use the, the word failure now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say anything that could happen might happen. Yes. How do I build my mental capacity to take those hard-hitting blows that might come that might even want to end that project for, for me. Yeah. So first and foremost, um, let's be proactive about this. You know, what I mean by being proactive is let's not wait until an event of failure before we begin to build the mental apparatus because by that time, it's way too late, mm -hmm. right? So ahead of time, what you want to do is to study the examples of people 
who have actually failed before. And every great person has, has failed. failed. Everyone who has aimed at success has risked the possibility of failure. And they failed several times. They failed into success. And that's what it means to fail successfully. They failed their way to success, right? And that's why I say it's part of the journey, mm -hmm. right? So in building your, apparel, your mental apparatus, you want to first take time to go through people who have failed. I mean, check their stories and see that these guys always bounce back and they bounce back bigger, better, you know, than normal. I mean, two of the most celebrated footballers today, Messi and Ronaldo, they've had their own fair share of failure. Mm. I remember when um, uh, Cristiano, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo first aimed to become the world best, right? Sometime in 2007, you know, Kaká emerged the world best, you know, he could you know, have gone back and say, I, I'm not trying because he gave his best. He did all he could. The very next year, he gave his best again. And guess what? Manchester United won the Champions League mm -hmm. and he was the world best footballer. And don't forget, after that episode, I think Messi won about three or four consecutively. That guy could have, I mean, he could have been bitter, he could have been angry, he could have gone to bed again. But he kept at it. And then before you know it, he was back there on the stage getting the world best. Even uh, Messi himself. Messi failed in, with Argentina again and again mm -hmm. and again to a point where he even, you know, uh, retired. Yeah. I mean, abruptly. But then he had to come back, right? Realizing that, okay, I can do something. And then today he's a World Cup winner. So the point here is this, if we can glean from the stories of others, we come to a point where we realize that this whole thing is part of the game. It's part of the journey. It's not, some, it's not an anomaly. It should be expected, mm -hmm. right? And uh, the moment you begin to think that way, you begin to also check your own life and realize that in your own life, there have been episodes, right, of failure. It's just that you did not stop. And that's why someone said success is going from failure to failure mm -hmm. without losing the mm -hmm. motivation, without losing steam, without losing your passion. As it were. So building your mental apparatus, you have to draw, you know, lessons and insights from the stories of others and then look back on, at your own um, journey and see the same thing. Again, you also have to be rational about it. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, we feel failure. People feel failure to the yes. point where they begin to think of themselves as being failures. They think, because I failed, I'm a failure. It ought not to be like that. Failure is an event. It's about what happened. It's not about who you are. And the very fact that something happened means something else can happen. If you could fail, you can also succeed. Those are events. Oh. Well, Bright, thank you very much. For a moment, I thought we were doing sports. <laughs> oh, Lamedy, I think... <laughs> This guy can do sports. In any case, <laughs> thank you very much, Bright. That's a one way to look at it and one way to actually start your Monday. It's a very fantastic one. Yeah. So, yeah, I think from now on, if you're out there and you have a project on hand, what you should do is start, well, think, uh, prepare your mind for those contingencies, for those bends in the way that don't act to end your project, but actually just modify them. If you have that mental apparatus, like Bright has said, you're only learning how to succeed and eventually you will. Thank you once again. Well, do stay tuned, do stick around because when we get back, we're going to be going inside of the kitchen and having Bright here taste some of our scrumptious meal. Dude. <laughs>